My name is Tobias Giesen. I am a postdoc uh, in the Silver Lab here in the Department of Systems Biology at Harvard Medical School. And I work on figuring out how proteins are able to form compartments inside cells. Actually, we're working on two specific projects. One is concerned with a bacterial compartment that is called a carboxysome. Carboxysomes are part of an important part of photosynthesis. Um, carboxysomes are the reaction space where the energy that is generated through photosynthesis is actually converted into biomass. And what we are trying to understand is how proteins inside cyanobacteria are able to form a shell around those processes and um, basically enable uh, the formation of biomass from carbon dioxide in the atmosphere. So I was born and raised in Germany. I attended Marburg University and got my PhD there. When it comes to family, my family um, is like a working class family, so no one in my family has any uh, connection with science or academia. I think it was just always very curious, and I mean, my family was very supportive, so I had like, you know, a microscope and a telescope and a chemistry set, so everything. So I think I was just always very curious to find, you know, out how things worked. And then in high school, I had like a very good chemistry teacher who uh, who really supported us and gave us um, the possibility to actually do experiments after classes. So that was very inspiring. Oh, I, I really like working in the lab, yeah. It's um, even really trivial things can be, I don't know, I think there are some people who don't like it that much, but then there are actual people who do really like just even doing like simple things, you know, that you have to do over and over again. But I think you need that if you want to be like a real, you know, scientist. You have to go, you have to have that passion to actually work at the bench, at least in the biological sciences. So the first, you know, advice I guess I would have is that you definitely should you know, follow your dreams, do what you want to do and what you're passionate about and don't listen to other people that tell you you have to, you know, you know, go study that at co in college or, you know, pursue a certain career. If you, if you are really passionate about a subject or doing something, whatever it is, then in the end you're, you're going to succeed. And I think, secondly, um, if you're going to do science, you have to be able to you know, cope with failure because most of the experiments we do, you know, don't really work out. You shouldn't let failure discourage you from from actually moving on. You have to see it as a chance to to learn something. I think that is one of the crucial aspects of science. You need a lot of endurance and a lot of uh, resistance. In, in the end, you know, if something works, it works. It's awesome because you're the first person to figure it out. So basically, being a scientist is like you know getting paid for your hobby because that's basically what I, you know, like to do. So, yeah, I think, like, you know, science is pretty much, you know, the best job in the world because, you know, you, you have the thrill of discovery and finding out new things, and at the same time, you're doing useful things for, you know, society. So that's definitely uh, a win-win situation. <laughs>